So in the last video, I explained the grading scheme. Uh, and this is the distribution of grades from last year. Uh, everything was the same. I used the same materials, same assignments. So, so I believe the distribution will be uh, similar this year, like this. And another thing, if you need a uh, accommodation, then let me know or contact uh, Disability Resources Center, uh, so DRC, contact DRC. But I think you don't need the, uh, there is nothing special I can do. So due date is already long enough. So I don't need to extend it, I think. Um, but if you, if you need something, let me know. I'm very much, very much willing to help you and contact DRC or me. Okay, so finally, three most important things I want to tell you. First, interaction, please. Uh, I love the online teaching mode, but the biggest problem is lack of interaction. So please feel free to send me emails and uh, join the Zoom office hours. I, I would love to interact with you. And also health and safety in th these days. So uh, make sure you are healthy and safe and follow the guidelines and utilize the university information and resources. Finally, academic integrity. Uh, it, it's so obvious, don't cheat. And don't cheat at all in your life. So that's what I want to say three important things in this course. Okay, this is pretty much about uh, the, the plan for this semester. From now on, I'm going to start the typical first chapter, typical introduction to statistics. Why statistics? Um, what, first, what is statistics? So statistics is the study of something what do you think is the most appropriate word for the blank? Uh, by the way, I'm going to use this kind of questions in lectures. Uh, I, am, I am talking to no one, but you have to answer. I want you to answer. And later in the, in the main lectures, it will be more about algebra questions. So then I want you to pause the video and do the algebra. Otherwise, there is no point of watching the video. Uh, so just watching the video is important, but just watch, watching the video itself uh, does not make the knowledge yours, yours. So you have to exercise and do some practice by answering those questions. Just think uh, equations, data, charts, and graphs, computation, analysis. So all of them make some sense but I would choose data. Data would be the most appropriate word in here. So statistics is about data. According to Wikipedia, it says statistics concerns the collection, organization, analysis, interpretation, and presentation of data. So anything about data is uh, the subject of statistics. And these days it becomes more important because everyone knows the data are important. Uh, uh, but so as the data become more important, it becomes more important the, the ability to analyze to analyze data becomes more important. So data itself is just a collection of many numbers. You have to you should be able to extract information from the data uh, to help make better decisions. To make better decisions, you should uh, be able to interpret and analyze the data, right? So Hal Varian, a famous economist, he's a, a chief economist at Google, and maybe pre before going to Google, he was a professor at Harvard, Princeton? I don't remember exactly. Anyhow, very, uh, a famous economist said 
statistics will be the sexy profession in the next 10 years. But he said this in 2008. It's been 13 years ago. And it's still, it, he was correct. And it is still valid. All right. I think it's still valid. And everyone knows how Google became the, the company these days. Uh, what it is right now so the power of data uh, it's interesting the it's it's an official statistics from uh, Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, employment for statisticians statisticians employment increased 34% uh, so expected increase expected to increase 34% compared to the average. So it's an expectation by BLS. So very impressive difference. And you should agree with that. It's, it, everyone knows the, the most promising job these days is computer science. Basically, computer science is uh, another, another major handling data. Statisticians are, uh, statistics is another major handling data. Uh, these days they are merging together you know and what's also interesting is that I looked at the catalog and uh, listed some uh, charted some statistics courses from other departments so AMAT 469 is uh, named actuarial probability and statistics from actuarial science and a PSY, psychology, this is statistical methods in psychology, and statistics for sociology, and quantitative analysis for business, and uh, statistics in criminal justice, and methodological tools for public policy, biostatistics, statistics in human development. What's, what's interesting here is that they are all from different departments. So different departments use the same tool in statistics under different names. Statistics, some say statistics, others say quantitative analysis. No difference from statistics. Methodological tools, it, it means statistics. And statistics is called biostatistics in biology. And uh, so this is from education school, school of education. So, and another interesting thing here is you think statistics as uh, mathematics, a kind of mathematics, uses a lot of numbers, equations. But actually, as you can see, these statistics are from social sciences, actuarial science, psychology, sociology, business, criminal justice, public policy, biology. Biology may be under may be classified as natural science, you know, education. All of them are social sciences. It's more useful in social sciences than uh, like mathematics. So uh, you have to change your stereotype. And then let me then explain why, especially among all the social sciences, economics, uh, economics. Uh, put most emphasis on statistics. So this course is required for majors. Why is it required? Here is an example. So in an introductory course, uh, I'm not sure if you learned this, but just uh, think about this. There is a monopoly firm. So monopoly firm has monopoly power. So the firm can set the price by itself. Then, then in microeconomics, it is an important chapter how to maximize the monopoly firm's profit, right? So given the marginal cost equals C and demand function is also given by A minus B, P. Then, then if you learned what, how it works, then the result is the optimal price is A minus C over 2B. So this maximizes the profit for this monopoly firm. So that's the result theory from microeconomics. It's very useful and uh, interesting, important result. 
But the problem here is, can you use this theory when you become uh, the monopoly firm's CEO? No. Not the biggest problem. Even if all the assumptions are correct, but the problem here is, you don't know what is A, what is B, what is C. So it is easy to say that let's assume that the marginal cost is C. Let's assume that the demand function is A minus B, P. But in reality, I don't know what is A and what is B. And even the marginal cost is hard to, under, hard to know. So here comes statistics. You need statistics to estimate those parameters. And you need, you need statistics to confirm if this theory is correct, right? So the parameters are from data and the bridge between the theory uh, and the data is statistics. That's why statistics is required in economics. Okay, um, I will I will stop here and uh, the last part will be covered in the next video. See you later.